Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Crossover's Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Hanging out with the Big Joe Herd at the New Ranch. Welcome back to the New Ranch series. We've got some uh, new project going on at this property. I, uh, if you can go back and watch it, the original place I actually put in those tire tanks, those tire water systems that have been working great. Well, I uh, actually went and purchased after the winter that we had. I went and purchased some automatic water systems um and they're actually electric and they have heaters in them today i am uh, got it rented a trencher and i'm gonna actually start trenching for that i know trenching is not real exciting and, and i'm not going to show you a ton of trenching but uh, this is going to be a progress this is going to be a little bit more difficult you got electricity involved uh, and you've got a complete working system with a pump and everything built into this. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Got to pour some concrete. Got to set it on the concrete. It's going to be bolted in down to it. We're going to build a slab so we can keep the ground protected and keep the bison from trampling around it. So the actual water, um, automatic water won't get damaged. So we've got some work to do on that for sure. But that's going to be a long process. But today I'm going to start trenching. We're going to set our three quarter inch uh, water lines or main lines and our electricity lines as well. So I'm going to start here. So this is the area. We got a gate right here. I didn't want to get it too close in case some water did drain, but I don't want to get it too far so we can come check it pretty easily. So, and then I've got to go all the way basically back to the barn near that door is where I'm going to trench to. we did pretty good that's pretty far down in there now i got a little crooked guys no judgment i got just a little off as you can tell i needed to go yeah a little straighter but i've got to tap in right here because this is where the existing water line is now you may not can see it very well i had to dig that up try to find it that's where the existing is and then the new one is going here so it's going to run through there and that's where the trencher is so i've got to clean this up trench through here what do you guys think don't knock all my dirt in give me just a little bit really jeez I said, don't knock the dirt in. No telling how long that water's been trapped in there. We're going to come back over here where I just pulled out the existing hydrant, which is laying right there. So we're just going to scatter on and make one long run with our three quarter inch pex pipe we're going to go one continuous pex pipe instead of doing 20 foot pvc sections
Well, I know it was a tight space in here with that trencher, but did as much as we could. Got to clean some of this out here. Uh, I know I'll have to do a lot of it by hand right here, kind of in the middle where uh, just we in this tight space, we couldn't get that trencher all the way through. So, but uh, that's good. We'll go from there. Got both ends taped, so we're good to go there, just in case. We've got our main water line ran with our PEX, three quarter inch PEX. Now remember in Oklahoma, it only has to be 18 inches deep. I told my buddies up in South Dakota, uh, they were a little upset at me, a little frustrated when I told them we only had to go 18 inches in Oklahoma and they have to go six feet in South Dakota. <laughs> got the line ran come through the barn and it comes out right here we'll connect it right there it's good it's where we wanted it all right so the next thing is i'm going to lay this 12-2 with a ground and this is uh, rated for uh for underground so um got a lot of recommendations from other people on this so we're just going to lay this right next to that pex and uh because my box is right here it's not very far it boxes right here so we're going to run this and then it's going to go its own direction once it gets in the barn and uh we'll hook it up to the box so we'll have power which runs the heater on this um, automatic water so we're going to put this down too Using grabbers all the time for, for
just enjoying a pretty sunset right here. I don't know how many days I've been working on this. Been plumbing everything, and uh, I'm not a plumber, but when you own 10 cabins, um, you, you learn how to be a plumber and you learn how to be an electrician, a carpenter, you name it. So over time, um, and being a farmer rancher, you, you, you learn all the traits too. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of plumbing, in which I've brought you along on everything, but um, got all the plumbing done and everything, which means it was time to get our slab poured. And today, got concrete hauled in here, got a yard brought in, hauled in, um, instead of doing bags, we'd still be here mixing and, and pouring this concrete if we did bags, but we gotta get rid of this light thing. And so we actually were short. Kevin and I, we probably uh, smoothed this out, took us maybe an hour, didn't take very, very long at all. But uh, I did the math on how big the dimensions were on this platform, on this water platform, and uh, came up a little short. I thought we were gonna have extra, but came up a little short right here on this end, but it's okay. Uh, it, it's kind of the exterior end, the outside of this uh, water pad, of this waterer pad. And so, not a big deal. We can add some bags of concrete to this. Looks like, I don't know, five or six bags of concrete will finish this right here. Not a big deal. We got the core of it done. We have to build our higher pad, which is where our um, water will mount. This will mount right here on the center, obviously, where our pipe is. Actually, it's a five gallon bucket. <laughs> She's using my resources. A uh, five gallon bucket where our uh, 12 2 ground line is and then our main water line which is which is three quarter inch pex pipe so and that is one solid pipe that runs back to the barn which is our main line so got it sloped so that um, water runs off of it or mud or anything like that but uh, the next thing will be is to install our I'm proud of the farm automatic water so wpo 12 um, it also has electric, which is one have electric, and it has a heater in it as well, too. Now, you're saying, well, it doesn't get that cold in Oklahoma. Well, last year, we hit some record-breaking temps. Yes, that doesn't happen all the time. However, um, it does happen, when, and, and whenever you uh, need <laughs> a heated water, it'll be nice in the wintertime here. So, uh, I don't think we'll be used a whole lot, but you never know. Just like last year, it was crazy. So, next thing will be is to let this dry. I've got to mix up some more concrete and fill in that gap right there, that hole. That won't take much. And then uh, let it settle for several days. Let it dry. No rush. We'll get this mounted. We'll set our concrete anchors in the ground. Mount this bad boy to the pad and we'll start hooking everything up. Electricity going on in there for the heating element side of it. And then the main water line a float, all that. So the plumbing comes back into it and uh, the electrician side comes back into it. So um, just enjoying the pretty sunset. Wife's out here, Brooks is napping, so. Welcome back to about, oh, day three or four of this whole project. Maybe more days than that, but we had a little cold spell, so took a little break from it once we got the pad poured, as you could tell. Now, here's the next step, and uh, the last and final step. Um, we're not gonna turn the water on yet, but at the end of this day, we should be able to. So, the next thing is, is here is our assembly. This is uh, Proud of the Farm. This is our automatic water here. What I had to do with this first is, I had to assemble some uh, kind of the guts, the parts of it in here. Uh, there's a, a riser assembly here. Um, here is the heater, actually. So it has a plug-in heater um, that we're going to be able to use in the winter. Uh, but I, you had to assemble this part in the middle. Uh, this electric can come out. And once you mount it, you can still have access to all of this um, to take this out and maybe store it during the winter. And it... Uh, it suggests that you do that. So, but now we're gonna set it on the pad here over our 
this is where our, you can see our main lines coming out and our electric uh, power source. I'm gonna drill the holes for the concrete um, and then we're gonna mount it. And all I'm using is some concrete anchor bolts right here. And, uh, and we'll get this set in the ground. This is a half inch, this is what they suggested. And they will mount right here on this using that washer. They'll be able to mount on all four places. Hook up the main water supply, um, do the rest of the electricity, and then we'll turn the water on and see how it goes. Not too worried about electricity right now, but uh, it's just mainly getting the water set and then actually watching it in here. And we'll assemble it back together and turn it on. Here's everything we got. Here's our main, here's our power. I have to put an electric box right here. I wanted to get this set to make sure. So this is about in the middle. I know my, my riser wall here, um, I got a 12 inch riser wall. I remember I used five gallon buckets for that. Um, but where our main is, it is off of our mining pad, that's okay. As long as this is in the center so each animal can drink out of here, we're good to go. So here's the plug in that will plug in later to a outlet. But now we've got to connect. This is from the automatic water. This is the main line to it. And here's my main line coming from the rural water. So we've got to take this to connect to this. This is PEX. Got our four mounting holes drilled with our concrete bit. Went through pretty good. So now it's time to set this on there, make sure those mount up, make sure we're level, and then we can uh, start to bolt these in with these anchor bolts. Floodgates have opened up. We got water and a good sunset. Look at there. You guys happy? Yeah. Me too. We are flowing. 
Yes. I still got to put the top on, but that's okay. Dakota Pure Cabs just can't wait. They're so excited. They want to get over there. Check out their new water supply. So if you need to drain it, you can drain it this way. Just takes the plug right here and you can plug it off. Stop your water if you need to, or if you need to drain it, clean it out, you can do it that way. Well, I got it anchored down, I got it set. I'm draining the water out right now because I was gonna clean it out. I'm just gonna put the lid on here. And uh, guys, that's pretty much it. This is, uh, I've got one more to install. I'll do it later on, kind of ran out of time, but I'm gonna, after I clean this out, I've, it's been a couple of days and uh, calves have been around here. They've already got some stepping on our platform here um i need to take the wood off right there but that's okay um it's pretty sunk in the concrete but overall this is actually pretty easy and uh even got power to it as well um yes i became an electrician um not really i'm just kidding but uh i did get some power here as well outdoor rated but a wire we ran um so we can run the heater to it which uh, here's the heater uh, to this as well. Just sits down in here. So proud of the farm. Gotta put our lid on. After I clean it out, we'll get some fresh water. And then the lid goes on it right there. Easy, take on and off. But um, that's it. So we have an automatic water and I like it because it's split between the two. I've got this panel up here right now just because when we did the forms and poured the concrete, I didn't want the big herd in it because they're so curious. They, they want to check it out and they, they got it. They got to look at it because they're just curious. Got the pipe insulated, got the main line insulated inside there. Got the wall here, um, which comes open. The wall here pops in there and it's facing the south side. So um, that's something else too that uh, is, is good about this system. Face it on the south. Most of our storms come from the north, obviously. Um, insulation on the main line there. And uh, plug in for the power. When uh, it's gonna be cold enough, you take it out obviously in the winter when it's not very cold. So we don't need the heat, but it's Oklahoma. We don't need it very often. So hope you guys enjoyed the video of going through this entire process of setting up an automatic water those tire waters are still, we're still gonna use those tire waters at the original place and they're awesome. Had a chance to get some of these after the winter we went through and just dealing with the cold and busting ice. This will hopefully be awesome and will make a huge difference for us whenever it comes to dealing with the cold conditions. No, Oklahoma does not get near as cold as places in the north like some of you may deal with or have dealt with but uh, it's just convenient because when that time comes you need it and uh, we do go through those days like that so um, I guess the only thing um, I wish was a little bit different 
is I may have to make my pad a little bit bigger. This is great. It's it's four inches deep here um, on the ends and sides, but in the middle it's about six inches deep where the pad was. But overall, this is a pretty easy gig. Um, you had to put the water together. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just taking care of the bison and uh, using something like this to split two pastures. Pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory there. So and why we did it. Um, it's nice to have fresh water for the bison. So anyways, thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you next time.